Hey guys, check out the updates on all your platforms, because Telegram has finally been updated to 8.6 version. The Messenger has many interesting innovations, and right now we'll look at them in detail. The Messenger team actively continues to make improvements. In the latest 8.6 update, users have got the Download Manager. Let me remind you that in Telegram you can send files up to 2GB, and moreover, the Messenger acts as a perfect cloud storage. It seems that they've decided to organize all of this and add a new Downloads tab. It'll appear the moment you decide to download something from Telegram. You can find it by clicking on the search bar at the top of the chats. It will show all the files you're downloading right now, as well as recently downloaded files. When you download a file, a special icon is also available in the search field. By clicking on it, it will quickly take you to a new section. In Downloads, you can pause or restart the downloads. Besides, here you can select ones to increase their priority so that a certain file is downloaded faster than another, as well as view it in the chat by long pressing on it. The attachment menu got even more beautiful and functional. First, for iOS users it looks the same as for Android ones. The navigation buttons are located at the bottom, the Files tab is significantly improved. Here you can see the recently sent documents and moreover, search through all the files that you have ever uploaded to Telegram. Sending photos or videos deserves special attention. Now, once you've selected several media files, you can go to Selected and change the order of the pictures or videos that you want. To do this, just press on the file and drag it wherever you want. Below you can quickly add a caption and immediately send everything to the chat. Opposite the Selected tab, you'll also notice three horizontal dots in the circle. By clicking on the icon, you can send all the same media as files without size compression and choose to group the data or turn this off. As for me, changing the order of media files was much needed for Telegram and, thanks to the developers, we now have this one. Like this video if you agree with me and we're moving on. Another innovation of the 8.6 version is the phone number links. Earlier, a link with the username was available in Telegram, provided that the user has specified it. It looks something like this, but the messenger went further and added the possibility to create a link with the phone number, just like with the nickname. It looks like this, t.me slash, and then you need to specify the phone number in international format. When you send a link in this format with your number to another user and they click on it, it opens a chat with you. It's important to remember that this function will only work if you allow everyone to see your phone number in the privacy settings. By the way, after enabling this add-on below, Telegram will immediately provide your public link with your phone number. You can click on it and it will be copied immediately. The next update is live video broadcasts. Back in June last year, Telegram allowed users to broadcast their screens to other people. The Messenger team points out that Telegram has become a place where famous streamers, journalists and bloggers actively arrange professional broadcasts for their audiences. Now with the new update, you can broadcast from streaming tools like OBS Studio or XSplit Broadcaster. This software is often used to be able to switch between windows, add text over images or use the green screen. To stream from these tools, start a new video chat in your group or new live stream in your channel and tap the Start with button. Messenger will display the data, which should be copied into one of the programs for streaming and then you can safely start your broadcast. Now, I won't go into details on this one because it can take a long time, but if you want to stream via other software, leave your comments below the video and I will make a separate video on this. You would think that's it? No, it's not. Telegram has a couple of more nice updates for you, which we're gonna talk about next. In the meantime, if you're new to Telegram, please click the subscribe button right now to learn everything about Telegram. On Android and Mac OS, the way you log in has been refined with smooth new animations. Besides, Telegram apps allow users to be logged in on several accounts simultaneously, with different phone numbers. Separately, in night mode, 
Panels and headers have a subtle transparency effect, letting chat backgrounds, stickers and media shine through as you scroll. The Telegram team points out that they haven't seen effects like this used in any other Android app, so the guys are happy to be the first to present advanced design technology to their users. If you have an Android smartphone, share in the comments if this is true. In addition, Telegram has updated its public links. They now look like the classic messenger interface on smartphones – new background, new buttons, and so on. In a press release about the update, the Telegram team did not forget to mention the current situation in Ukraine. They point out that the Telegram's multinational team includes many members from Ukraine, and they wish for an immediate end to the conflict. They will continue improving Telegram's ability to connect people in areas with limited coverage and withstand service disruptions. And that's all I have. It's the Telebloke channel. Subscribe and keep updated.